we have said make use of uh, uh, the village and ward secretariats no lo unna total ga ekkada ekkadaithe dantlo vacancy share in there wherever they had left out first focus on that problems undakunda war footing basis me the we have given a date is 30th june 2022 as uh, uh, the date within which all the appointments compassionate appointments should be done with anjepi wherever you actually have these vacancies coming forth please make a list of them and ensure that these people are appointed giving first priority to gram sachivalayam and ward sachivalayas the vacant places vacant positions there in those uh, village and ward secretariats so that by 30th june this is definitely met with and uh, i do not want any delays in this particular arena so that's number 1 so this mig plots what are going to be coming up in every constituency so constituency taken as a unit please make sure that every eligible employee is accommodated in these mig layouts uh, with a 20% rebate the registration takes place because until unless you know how many people are wanting this unless you assess the demand so please give a date as 5th march as the final date so before 5th of uh, the march every employee who is seeking this mig layout slow house site or it is whomsoever is seeking please make sure that they apply uh, uh, the new revised uh, pay slips this was the commitment that was given on that particular day when we had announced this retirement uh, age uh, what is been enhanced from 60 years to 62 years a uh, two years one way they they additional ga employees ko manchi chese dani kosam to edaithe 2 years uh walaku we have increased the age limit from 60 to 62 years that i think the jio is already been issued so covid ki sambandhinchi i think all of you are aware that you know this is a situation where we are now fighting with the third wave we are in the midst of a third wave yesterday health department is also uh, extended this by another two weeks so please make sure that uh, the most important thing is making sure that these two weeks pass because you know this omicron is just moving up hitting the peak and then it is receding at a fast pace so everybody who is getting a fever the fever is lasting for one week so it's a, it's a, it's a trend that needs to be uh, just pass off we just need to pass off so it's very important that these two weeks are very critical this 27% weekly positivity should reduce it's very important that we continue with these norms i appreciate them for ensuring that vaccination process is on full steam in fact uh, so much so that 100% first dose uh, uh, to adult population is already achieved and uh, 90.95% of the people have also been administered second dose that is also uh, uh, an achievement on the part of the collectors and my appreciation for you on that uh, count post february i'm making collectors party to it every hospital in the district from teaching hospital be it teaching hospital be it district hospital be it uh, uh, area hospital be it chc be it phc right up to the stage of uh, uh, village clinic the entire sector wherever they might be i want 100% recruitment there should be no dearth anywhere for doctors or nurses or paramedics this is grounded there should be zero houses that are left ungrounded please make sure that you expedite uh, every house 
in that uh, category. So coming to the next point in the agenda, that is uh, Spandana grievances. This is uh, one particular area that uh, that we've been trying to make certain revolutionary changes. We launched the portal uh, just recently where every file could be traced as to where that pending file is. So now that this facility is available, the collectors would have to take a review periodically at least twice a week to understand where the file is left, where the file is pending, and why the file is not moving. Now we have developed a robust portal wherein every file that is passing through is visibly displayed. The entire path is also visibly displayed. There's an SLA in place. And wherever the file is blocked beyond the SLA, it is unpardonable. It's got to be rejected or it's got to be sent. Why is the file st still left pending? These are the questions that you need to raise, that you need to ask. And another important aspect is, if the file is disposed of, it is very important that you need to see the reasoning, the quality of the reasoning. That is very, very important aspect. The reason why I say as to why you need to get into the details of uh, the quality of redressal is, the quality of reasoning is, the quality of redressal is, because on an average 11% of the cases are coming back, not satisfied with whatever reply that has been given, and reapplication has been made. Moreover, you should also see in this process of reapplication a proper SOP which is already in place given to you is followed or not. The same assessing officer should not be given the mandate once again to relook at the same reapplication. It should be looked at by somebody above. And it's very important that such applications come to your notice and you understand as to why so and so has reapplied, what was the reply that has been given, why this person is not satisfied with that reply that has been given and why has he applied. It's very important that you get into that depth and make sure that whomsoever is reapplied the same assessing officer is not doing the assessment once again, but a proper SOP in place to make sure that the assessment is done better. These are, these are the two very important things that you need to seriously look into it. Otherwise, there is no point, there is no meaning as to what we are doing. Please focus on this redressal part. If you do not focus on the redressal part, the objective for which we are what we are is lost. We are here to do service to the people and not to lord over them. That is one very important aspect that should always be in our minds. The bigger we grow, the more humane we should get, the more humble we should become. Please make sure that, you know, you don't forget these aspects. You need to become more humane. 
See, the most important aspect, as I uh, told you some time back, 90% of the issues are addressed when somebody is empathetic to the cause and when somebody is available. Please make sure that these two things are done. You have the latest technology available to you, including facial recognition. Make sure every officer is available, wheresoever he should be available. That will take care of 90% of the issues. And you give them orientation when you go there. Periodical reviews by you, periodical uh, meeting interactions by you, in, in emphasizing on empathy. Until as you drive these points, once these two are in picture, automatically the perception would change the way these people would hand the way these people are handling versus how they would be handling in future would change another important uh, aspect that i would like to bring to the notice of the collectors is you have rdo level officers you have you have different you have at least subdivision officers in two or three areas in a district you go there once in a month at least, you visit the RDO office. If you have three RDO office, offices in your district, make sure that three days in a month, you spend time there at the RDO office. Because once the collector is going to the RDO office, everything in that RDO purview would be, would be on their toes is probably one of the most important points in the agenda. The SDG Sustainable Development Goals and uh, you are connect to the goals. There are approximately, you know, proper orientation has already been given to you through the, through the Chief Secretary on how to enhance our position in SDG goals. How do we improve these numbers? You know, SDG is all about 17 thematic, thematic goals and 115 indicators so as to get to those goals. This is what SDG is all about. And out of this 115 uh, indicators, collectors are monitoring of 43 such indicators would ensure that we improve our SDG numbers. Now this is going to be a very, very important aspect. You, are being, you will be monitored, you will be gauged on the parameters here. 43 such indicators the collectors need the direct control of the collectors. Your monitoring, your review, your improvement in these indicators would put the district and the collector far above the others. And not and mark my word, I will ensure that you are marked in competition with the country. you will be rated as one of the best collectors in the country. Forget about this state. Now moving on to the last point uh, in the agenda, that is uh, the schedule for uh, the month of February. What are the programs that we have lined up? What are the dates? And uh, since it's only February and March, I'll read out both uh, the months. Jagannath uh, Chedodu. Jagannath Chedodu, this is going to be on 8th of February. And then uh, uh, YSR input subsidy. This is in connection to the recent floods. February 15th itself. We will be giving the input subsidy pertaining to them. Then Jagannath Thodu. And uh, giving us Jagannath Thodu. This program will be on 22nd February. Then Vidya Devana will be on 8th March. Vasati Divana will be on 22nd March. 
So this will complete this year's whatever we have spoken, whatever we have spoken would stand delivered. So these are the dates. Please make sure that preparations are made. Please make sure that all these things are in place.